Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Ranch Land in Ainsworth, Nebraska. And today I have a store exclusive I wanna share with you guys. This is an Anderson Bean Hippo Boot that you can only get here in Ranch Land. Let's give it a quick impression. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way all right guys, so this is another stop on the Hondo Tour 2022. And we had to stop in here and you know that I love to do videos of store exclusive boots, uh, both Hondo, which I did a video of earlier here, and from other brands like Anderson Bean, where stores can get exclusive models made for them. And Ranchland loves to carry different kinds of things, they told me, including this one from Anderson Bean, which features beautiful hippo leather. So let's get straight into the details of this boot with the rundown. Yes, this is Ranch Land's exclusive Anderson Bean Hippo boot featuring hippo leather on the foot and the counter. And Ranch Land's website, ranchlandwestern.com, gives us some good information about the leather. And it says that it is often sanded down to remove most of the scarring and the bottom layer is split off to leave the top grain used on the boots. So you can kind of see that it's a little bit suede here and it feels pretty supple as well. It also features Anderson Bean's popular wide square toe with a double stitch welt. It comes in at 13 inches tall and features a bone colored kid skin leather. Down here for a heel, we got about a one and a quarter inch bonded leather heel. For an outsole, we have a hybrid outsole. I love hybrid outsoles because it combines uh, leather with rubber and the rubber is placed in the spot of the outsole that's going to see the most wear. So you'll get much more durability out of a hybrid outsole like this than you would with a full leather outsole. On the inside, this boot is lined with cowhide leather around the top and around the foot. It feels incredible. And for an insole, we have Anderson Bean's Kush insole. Uh, which is what they put inside their boots. It's a little bit of foam topped with a little bit of fabric, but underneath that, you also have Anderson Bean's traditional hard leather insole too. So these are traditionally made boots and they just sort of add in this cushion insole so that uh, it's less shocking for those of you coming into boots and it's just more enjoyable to try on in store. Anderson Bean boots are made in the USA, and this one's coming in at $470 here at Ranchland, but you can also get it online at ranchlandwestern.com. Now let's try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on the Anderson Bean Hippo boots. This is a Ranchland exclusive, so you can only get this boot here at Ranchland or at Ranchland's website. This is the first time that I've ever tried Hippo, actually. So this is a interesting experience for me, uh, if I'm gonna be selfish about it, because um, this is, is a very different kind of leather for me. Feels very, very much like a, like a cowhide thickness or a bullhide thickness. And it feels nice, and it looks nice too, you know? Sometimes I can go either way with a black foot leather and a natural outsole, but I think it works pretty okay here, especially because they chose to go with a black hybrid outsole. You know, Anderson Bean also has natural hybrid outsoles that you could have like a natural colored leather to match the outsole, but I'm happy that they went with black here because it kind of pulls it all together, you know? And oh, the top too makes it pull all together as well. The bone colored top is very similar to that natural outsole as well. So design wise, this boot just works in my opinion. And <laughs> construction wise, you guys know, Anderson Bean is traditionally made right here in the United States. So they have features about them that might be a little bit more modern like that block leather uh, heel and the removable insole, which I removed from this uh, because, you know, they didn't have an 11D at the moment, but they do have more on order. So when you guys see this video, they probably will have more sizes in stock, but that's fine because I would remove this anyways to wear without the insole because that's how I prefer 
to wear the boots. I like the feel of the hard leather um, rather than the foam cushion. That's just how I am. I'm, you know, maybe I'm a hard ass. I don't know, <laughs> but I love the outsole of this boot. It's going to be very durable over the long run, much more durable than just what it would be if it was leather. And it feels great too. Great build here from Anderson Bean. Let me give you the POV. All right, here's what the boot looks like looking down at it. It's a very matte black color because it is suede to get rid of the scarring. You know, it's kind of distressed and hippos fight with each other all the time. So there's scars all over the leather. So they kind of have to do this when making hippo boots. You also have that wide square toe with a double stitched weld. That's a classic Anderson Bean look. Love it or hate it. I know it's a very controversial look for many boot enthusiasts out there but it, it is very comfortable and it does give you a little bit more uh, room for your toes if you wanted to go that route or you weren't sure of what size you were. You know, wide square toe is a very forgiving toe shape so you don't always need the exact size. Like I'm a 12B, my size is 12B and these are 10 and a half Ds and they work fine. All right, guys, so it was kind of fun trying on this hippo boot. You know, I've never tried hippo leather before, but it is more supple than I thought it would be, especially since they split it and they sand it down. Like they have to treat this leather quite a bit in order for it to, to make it look good enough to wear for a boot. And you can still see all of the scarring here. Uh, that's how you know that it's hippo, right? Because it is so scarred from them fighting with each other all of the time. Uh, and it's a good look, and I like the matte black of it as well. It feels more durable than I thought it would uh, with it being split and sanded so much. It kind of feels like a bull hide. So uh, I look forward to a day where I can try this in a little bit more detail over maybe an extended test this leather uh, but for now i'm just happy to be able to try this exclusive boot in store where you can't find this anywhere else it's only found here at ranchland if you guys are interested please check out ranchland western's website or stop through if you're nearby i mean this store is beautiful i mean just check it out they got all these boots over here check out all of those boots this store is incredible guys and there's an upstairs too with more clothes as well so you guys go out of your way just make a trip here and uh tell them that you saw these videos because you know me taking up some space in these stores you know it's always nice to let them know that it makes a difference i love you guys so much let me know what you think of these anderson bean hippo boots down in the comments and i will see you next time peace well i'm hungry for those hippos down at ranch land it can be said of this leather that I'm a fan And they come from Madison Bean Some of the nicest that I've seen I Hungry for those hippos down in ranch land Thank you so much for watching today Why don't you check out this other quick impression video up here Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy Don't forget to subscribe up here And I will see you next time Peace, have a good one